All right, y'all. So I wanted to quickly get out a video of uh, top best early game base spots. Keep in mind, I'm saying early game, and I'll toss in a couple of the end that are probably closer to late game. We're going to start with one of my favorites on Scorched. Um, it's right next to Green Ob. It's a pillar, so you don't get attacked on the land, and they have to Fortnite up, or they have to fly up, and if you can get some turrets down, at the very least, you've got some coverage, and they've got to do some funky stuff to raid you. And this is at... 48.3, 71.9, right here on the map. So I'll wait here for a second. You can pause the video, and this is your spot. I'll show you some stuff around here. I'm just going off memory here because it's been a minute. But there should be metal down here. There's a lot of rocks and flint around here, wood, good resources. And it should be up near this mountain up here that there's good metal. All around should be metal around here. And the rocks look different in this game. So yeah, there's all sorts of metal around here, around this mountain. Uh, yeah, so I would say this spot is really good. It's a lot easier. It's got a lot, it's, it's a lot lower. It's a lot more space. It's close. So that's spot number one. Spot number two, personally, I would say is this cliff, this uh, mountain right here. It's a lot higher up. It's a lot more difficult to get to. It's in a more difficult zone, but it is a metal mountain. And there's all sorts of metal and resources around here. You're closer to the edge. You're right next to the wyvern scar, so you don't have to go as far for wyvern eggs. And early game, obviously, that's important to get going. And the dinos that you really need to tame are over here. So as soon as you have an RG and stuff like that, you could really get up here. Your location for that is going to be 68, 25.7, roughly. You're also near Red Ob, which means you can go down. And there should be water down here for pearls. Yeah. So that's coming in at number two for us for that early game base spot number three we're gonna have to go with this nice little cliff right here next to blue ob lots of wood around here it's good for wood farming it's a little bit better than the other spots for wood farming there's still metal around because there's all sorts of mountains around uh, and i'm talking fast because i'm trying to get through this for you guys because i know i'm putting this out right before or yeah right before the servers uh pop and uh smalls is accessible but you've got water down here i believe there's pearls down in here and it's also a step tiered thing so you have to fortnite up and you can build your way up so you can kind of defend different levels with different parts of your base uh, and again it's still the highest up point nearby other than like a mountain that's very far away and so this spot is going to be at 20 37.1 so yeah this is coming at number three last two spots are going to be over here back towards green ob uh pretty similar reason obviously metal there's oil around here you're closer to the edge of the desert so you can go look for desert drops and you've got three different tiered areas here the difficulty with this is that you do have to claim the whole thing and that's why it's kind of spot number four because as much as it's good space and there's not a lot of ability to tame snipe you around here this is still a difficult spot to hold early game with more than a couple of turrets so i would say that this is coming in at a lower tier on my little list but still a very good spot definitely claimable and the spot is at 35.9 70.2 the very last spot that I would say is on my little tier list of early game is up here uh, because it has better resources than most. It's got obsidian crystal, which there there's definitely obsidian crystal over towards those mountains over there. But on this side of the map, there's not a whole ton of it as far as I can remember. So I would say this is a good one. Uh, again, same problem with the last spot is that it's multiple pillars. But if you can claim the whole thing, if you've got people working... Um, it's a good early game spot to get started until you can move into a cave. So this is going to be our last early game spot, and it's right at 48.2, 63.7. Okay, <clears throat> so I wanted to toss a couple extra spots in here. These are not early game spots, uh, and unless they changed it, uh, you cannot get into Central Cave and build inside of it without building from the outside. And I do not have time to test that at the very moment. But here's the chords for the entrance, which are 58.8, 47.8. So what the cent entrance looks like, this is kind of what you're looking for. You're looking for a crack in the ground. But so you go down in here, take a little look, see Lou. It's a small entrance, so you can't, I don't think you can walk a full stego through here. And then it's a very, very big cave. Dangerous cave. You get really hot um, until you get inside. But then once you're in, it just goes super, super deep. And the nice part about it is that there's drops in here. Uh, and obviously there's not a whole lot of drops on Scorched in terms of actual drops to get BPs. So you would just go back here and this would be a huge late game spot. But very, very hard to claim early game. 
So I highly recommend it in terms of late game spot, but not in terms of early game spot or you're just going to have a hard time ha holding it down. And even if you do get it built in there, you're just going to get fobbed from the outside and you'll get stuck. So definitely the best late game spot on Scorched, but yeah, so there it is. All right, y'all, this is the last spot I wanted to show you. I would say this is uh, also one of the ultimate late game spots. It's a little easier to claim early game if you really want to try, but if you get fobbed from the outside and uh, you don't have teleporter, you are stuck, especially on a closed server. So this is called Church Cave. Uh, a lot of people know it as Church Cave, uh, and it is on this side of the map. And you go in through here, and I will kind of go through slow. And the cords for it are uh, 78, 76, bottom right of the map. You go down here, and they kind of revamped it. It's kind of nice. Um, game of six, and it's it's cool. I mean, it's a it's a nice big cave. It's really great, especially if you can build it out well. But and it just gets deeper and goes further. But this would be, I would say, the last um, of of the two. This is the easier to build, and of the two, this is, in my opinion, kind of the better. But it just depends on who you ask. Uh, so that is the end of my base tour video or base recommendations video. So be sure to like and subscribe and drop a comment and stay tuned for my small tribe series that I'm starting in probably about five minutes. So nice. See you guys.